everyone. Uh, Jesse and I are starting off Christmas. We don't even have our tree up yet. No. But we have a lot of things planned. And we're actually going to get through them this year. Yeah. Um, so one of the ideas I had is I love the little kits and everything at Christmas time. Um, and so we bought numerous of them. I think we've got seven so far. Yeah. All different things that we found at Costco or Walmart. Um, those are the only place we've bought them so far. And we thought, well, we'll take them apart. We'll review them, see which ones are worth the money and that. Um, unfortunately, um, me being totally disorganized, I didn't exactly put down the prices. But I know this one was between $15 and $20. $20 max, because I have my limits when I spend money. Um, and I think this was, I thought this was $15. So this is the first one we're doing. And this is Gallery Au Chocolat Milk Chocolate Painting Kit. It's made with fine Belgian chocolate, so it's not like it's like fake chocolate, like candy melts or anything like that. And it includes six milk chocolate figures, four colored white chocolate, and two brushes. Okay, so we're going to show you what's in that, but one of the things we notice without even opening the package is Jesse saw the two paint the brushes. The brushes are like... She said they're horrible. So we got an, at the dollar store. Pack. Yeah, and that's just from the dollar store. So let's do this and see what's in the package. Okay, we've taken this out of the box and it comes with a plastic cover over top, which is nice because you can close it up when you're done with it, I guess. Okay, so the chocolate looks good. It hasn't um, gone out of temper, you know, when you get that discoloration, now, which is good. I'm gonna... So this is how thick they are, which isn't bad, you know? Chocolate is really expensive here in Canada. And these are the colored chocolate you use? Yeah, and this is white chocolate. Now these are thicker than I thought they were they'd be so you've got these and you heat these up in the microwave and then you can paint with them these are the paint brushes they yeah. maybe they, they're the best ones for it but we just thought these might be a little easier to use on the chocolate so yeah. we'll see so Jesse um I I'm I'm the more I'm the one who does the she's the more artistic art, yeah. one I'm the more creative one. So I'm going to let her tackle these so that we can at least get one that looks good enough to take a picture of. Yeah. So let's see. Now it says to microwave the chocolate for 30 seconds and then 15 second intervals. So that's what I'm doing. I'm melting them in these little wee um, cups, but I'm also using a chopstick. Uh, to do this, I didn't want to use the spoon because you know when you mix with a spoon, a bunch of chocolate gets on the spoon, and I didn't want to. I didn't want to waste any of it, so I thought chopstick would be the best bet to you to lose uh, the least amount. Okay, so I finished this uh, first gingerbread man, just 
basically tried to use all the colors and filled in the little raised spots. So we're gonna do a different shape next. Was it easy? Yeah, super easy. Super easy for kids. Super easy for kids. Yeah. And and the chocolate, did it remain soft enough to use? Oh yeah, the, the entire, entire time. time. Yep. Okay. So. So I wanted to do the bell next. We thought there was like two of each except for the bell, but there's one underneath it. So there is two. So that's good. So that's six. Yeah. So if you have six kids or six in a family, you can each do them or less. Or, so there's plenty yeah. in there, which is nice. Yeah, I thought there was only one bell, so. Okay, so I finished the bell one. I guess I'll do the snowflake. Turned out cute. Yeah, it's kind of messy, but it's pretty cool. Okay, so this is the um, snowflake one. So that's all three. Yeah, and we're gonna show them all together and tell you what we think of the kit. Yeah. Okay, so these are the three that were finished. We haven't done the other three. Yeah. Um, the they actually took me a while, but that's because I'm trying to make them like really look pretty. But if it's with kids, you know. But you know what? I think it would be a nice afternoon activity. Yeah. E even the old, like a little older kids who want to take their time like you do to make them pretty. I think it's a good afternoon project, especially for the price. And the fact that it's Belgian chocolate, chocolate so it's real chocolate. Uh, bonus points. The fact that the brushes aren't that good. Yeah, I tried um, it. I tried one and they're just too thick. Kind of. I don't know. Yeah, I don't like so um, a dollar store, you know? Yeah. Just paint brushes and that's good enough. Um, yeah, so this is definitely a thumbs up for the money. Yep. Especially chocolate is so expensive in Canada. And these are big. And, and you would... Like, you get six of them, right? Yeah. Yeah. You get six of them. I, and I think it was something like fourteen ninety nine. I think, because I thought, well, six of them, you know, these are worth at least $2 a piece in chocolate where we live. So, for a kit, thumbs up from me. Yeah, for me too. Um, it was actually pretty fun to do. Was it? Yeah. Okay, so okay. let us know in the comments which uh, which one is your favorite. Yeah, is it the gingerbread man, the bell, 
in between them. Or the snowflakes. And uh, we're going to be doing putting these up every few days. Um, and all the other kits we have. We have quite a few. We have houses. Houses. And and ugly cookies. sweater cookies. Yep. And all kinds of things. And these are available. This one is from Costco. So if it's something uh, you think you'd like, get it now while they still have them. Yep. 